This is the video for lesson 3 on my website, Place Value to 100. We use what's known as a base 10 math system. What that means is that we use the digits 0 through 9 when we count, and when we get to 10, we need to move to the left into a new column. So for example, we can count 8, 9, and we can't squeeze the 10 into one column, so we have to start a new column for the 1. Okay. When we get as high as 100, we have to move to the left yet again and make a new column. So we could have 98, 99, and then when we need to get to 100, we must start a new column. And that's what the base 10 math system is all about. Um, it's important to understand what co the columns really mean. Let's take a look at the number 739. I'm going to write it like this. Now first, take, let's take a look at our columns. The ones place is always the column on the right. To the left of that, we have the tens place, and to the left of that, we have the hundreds place. And this is the way our system is. It will always be that way. So here we can say that the number 9 is in the ones place. And what that means is that this number has 9 ones. And I can just write that as 9. There's a 3 in the tens place. That means that we have 3 tens, and 3 tens has a value of 30. So I can write that as 30. And we have 7 in the hundreds column. That means we have 7 hundreds, or we can write that as 700. So what this number really is, is 700 plus 30 plus 9, which we just say as 739. And of course, we just write it like that. It's important to understand that we're not allowed to just place digits in the column of our choosing. A lot of students think that they can do that. Each column represents a different place value. As we move to the left, the columns represent larger and larger multiples of 10. So we have ones, tens, hundreds. If we had to move to the left again, we would have thousands. Later, we'll, we'll learn more about larger numbers, and we'll learn about decimal numbers, and we'll see how place value ties into those numbers.